Relieved? Yeah. I think uh, it was a great uh, injustice that uh, we lost our mother for 22 years. And the other injustice was this monster was roaming around and well, we're grieving and going to the cemetery and doing other things like that. He's living his life. 20, 20 odd years more life. Mm. Mm. I'm and sure. The other thing, I guess we do feel relieved that it can't happen again. There mm. can't be any more mm. because he was he was like a volcano. Mm. He would explode. Mm. So no one would be safe if he exploded. Mm. Um, she was a beautiful person. She was caring, loving. She loved her family. Um, the community loved her. She was always busy, always um, either being like involved in church and bowls, and she always had friends around her. And yeah, she was just just such a, a lovely person. She was fit. She, she, was, she was slight but not frail. She virtually ran the church. <laughs> she was president mm. of the. The, the bowling club, Elizabeth mm. Bowling Club. So, I mean, there are a lot of mothers as good as this, but to us, obviously, she's the most special here. Mm. <laughs> to us, she was our mother. Mm. Yeah, and you, you always, she was always busy, and sometimes you have to make an appointment to see her because <laughs> she was that busy. Oh, that was a standing joke. Yes, in yeah, the family. In the, yes, <laughs> in the family. Yeah. But um, no, and she wouldn't say a crossword She's about anyone. Wonderful grandmother. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Kids loved going there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, but um, yeah, it's just that was our mum. That was mum. Yeah. Well, they've been wonderful, haven't they? Oh yes. Um, yeah. Just uh, kept us informed all the time and ring up to see if we're okay. You know. And uh, I know that um, uh, the police liaison officers used to, would ring my mum's sister, Auntie Beryl, up at Port Germain, and even the other sister, they're both still alive. And I'm sure mum would still be alive today. So She would have got a letter from the Queen. <laughs> she was a real royalist. Oh yes, oh, she yes. loved her. Yes. Yes. And she was going to outlive us all. <laughs> <laughs> She wanted a letter from the Queen, she didn't she? She loved her garden. She don't yeah. get a chance. Yes. Yeah. She loved gardening. Yeah. So the police were, were great. We couldn't ask for, you know, mm. a better support from them. We just hope the process gets completed. Mm. And this fellow, this bloke, this monster I called him, uh, cannot come out ever. Mm. And everyone's safe. Be final closure for yes. us anyway. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So and we can just move on <clears throat> eventually. Mm. The family's been wonderful. We've all bandied together. Um, we just got closer and closer as time went by, supporting each other. Mm. Our, Absolutely. our husbands, our yeah. children, they've all been wonderful. And that's, that was the legacy that Mum left behind, was our close family. We've just got to hang on to our memories. That's right. And we yes. wanted many, many more. Yes. And our, you know, to see the grandkids and to see mm. That's right. my She's... wife and everyone like that that came along, but yeah. no hope yeah. taken. Yep, that's right. She's missed all that, all the birthday celebrations, you know, new babies and all that. She's missed that because this and we've missed low her. life took her life. Mm. And we've missed her too, so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. So much. <laughs>